The Pope and the Archbishop of Canterbury celebrated first Vespers together to mark 50 years of dialogue and engagement with one another in the same church from where St. Augustine of Canterbury was sent to preach in England in the 6th century. Archbishop Justin Welby and Pope Francis's first action was to sign a common declaration, giving thanks for the theological dialogue started in 1966 with the two previous religious leaders despite serious obstacles. The two prayed side by side on the altar at the Basilica of San Gregorio al Cielo as they sang first vespers in their traditional religious garb. Both reflected on the gospel, speaking about the role of the good shepherd and the sheep. L'amore dell'agnello vittorioso sul peccato e sulla morte è vero messaggio innovativo da portare insieme alle smarriti di oggi e a quanti ancora non hanno la, gio la gioia di conoscere il volto compassionevole e l'abbraccio misericordioso del buon pastore. Da lì scaturisce la nostra responsabilità comune, l'unica missione di servire il Signore e l'umanità. This service and responsibility toward humanity was also expressed in the Archbishop of Canterbury's homily as he spoke about the shepherd who will always search out his one lost sheep, especially the most vulnerable. As God's family, we may always be those who look out into a world that wanders like sheep without a shepherd, where the weak, the unborn, the elderly, the trafficked, the dying, those with disabilities are treated not as humans, but as inconveniences. And not only do we look, but we hear the voice of the Good Shepherd calling, and we respond, here we are. Send us. Pope Francis asked that pastors everywhere help the people that are in their care, and they pray for the grace to follow the examples of the past missionaries who have helped revamp the church. La missione dei, pa dei pastori è quella di aiutare il grece loro affidato, perché sia in uscita, in movimento, nell'annunciare la gioia del Vangelo, non chiuso in circoli ristretti, in microclimi ecclesiali che ci riporterebbero ai giorni di nuvole e caligine. Insieme chiediamo a Dio la grazia di imitare lo spirito e l'esempio dei grandi missionari. The religious leaders finished with a firm resolve to look toward the future and to trust in the mercy of the shepherd before singing the Our Father. Pope Francis then gave a crociere to the Archbishop, and the Archbishop returned the favor by gifting the Pope a silver cross necklace, which Pope Francis immediately put on. The two religious leaders finished by blessing the attendees in Latin before greeting the members of the Anglican Roman Catholic International Commission who lead progress between the Roman Catholic Church and the Anglican Communion.